hello welcome to my channel and today I would like to share um, an idea that I have been working on and this idea is basically some kind of merging between two systems that I, I really like uh, one is the advanced tiny dungeon and another one is Forbidden Lands. First, I would like just to say a few words about uh, this amazing, amazing fist system, um, Advanced and Tiny Dungeon. Uh, I, I believe that everyone already knows Tiny Dungeon at least, but if you are not familiar to it yet, um, basically is a system that has a really simple uh, mechanic there are there is there are some mechanics in this game uh, especially in the advanced version but the core mechanic of tiny dungeon is basically you roll um, two to six normally and if you get a five or six it means that you have a success then you you succeed, yeah, of course. But you could have cases where you have uh, an advantage and then you roll three, this six, and other cases that you have um, disadvantage and then you roll only one, this six. Um, on top of it, they build the combat system, they build the Re resistance checks and tests and so on everything is built built uh, around this this idea uh, advanced tiny dungeon brings a little bit more mechanics not heavy mechanics but some adjustments that for my taste it it really brings uh, good um, good things to to the game and I, I could actually just create an entire video by, by presenting this system, but this is not the idea at this moment, maybe later. If, if, if you wish to, to have a look on it deeply, I can try to, to, to create a video, but probably there are a lot of other options on YouTube that you can find. But um, the idea here is, um, these advanced dining dungeons um, with these um, new additions and with some optional rules fits really well on forbidden lands and now i'm just going to talk a little bit uh, about forbidden lands um, forbidden lands on the other hand it's not so simple actually um, the card sheet has a lot of, of information and there are a lot of skills and so on. And usually, although only D6 are rolled, basically, uh, you need a lot of, of D6 and in different colors as well. And the system sometimes in the combat could be a little bit um, slow or difficult to handle in a solo mode so yeah I, I saw some people complaining about it however this system has basically I would say the best hex crawl uh, mode and not only that it has as well a lot of tables that help you on creating your villages, your encounters, your dungeons even. And it's, it's, it's a true sandbox system. Not only for solo, actually it was designed for a group, but it is really, really great for solo. And the only thing that blocks me a little bit is, is the combat. And, and the fact that I need to have a several uh, D6 with, with a different colors, because as you may notice, 
I mainly play on my computer and uh, the dice rolls are a little bit limited on how many colors of D6 I can have in a, in, in, uh, on, a, um, on a dice roller application. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's not so easy and it takes time to set up every, every roll. Um, but yeah, but then I thought, yeah, I, I can do something about it. And then I, I came up with a very, very simple idea. And this is, this is my idea. There are things that you do in this game. Um, and basically these are, I would say the movements that you do in a hex scroll. You, you can hike, lead the way, keep watch, forage, hunt, fish, make camp, rest, sleep, explore. And for each one of these actions, there are some, some skills involved in it. So I just created here um, some like a parallel list where I can fit tiny dungeon skills to the actions that are required in a Forbidden Land um, session. So I just try to see, okay, for hiking, um, if I have tough, I could have advantage on push and yeah, and lead the way. The survivalist trait gives me an advantage as well and perceive perceptive gives advantage so in, in the end as i said tiny dungeons only use two to six but yeah with these traits if i have them instead of rolling just two d6 i would roll three d6 instead and and additionally i i made this um, table that i'm still thinking if i'm going to use or not I basically got from 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 the the, the, the book of the beasts. Uh, it has um, a solo solo. Uh, there are solo rules there, but it's still in work. It's the better version. So I, I just got there, and they they use um, cards, uh, deck of cards, and I just decide. Okay, for me. It doesn't make sense. I don't want you to use deck of cards. I just want to use D6. So I, I've created my own uh, table by using that the, the table from the solo rules as an inspiration. And then I just adjust this a little bit. And there are several encounters as well in the Game Master Guide and in the Book of the Beasts. So uh, I just copied it from, from there. But I, I just changed this. Too. So I just roll a d6 and see what happens. And I, I have the tables here for, for the random encounters directly from, from the books. Um, and there is a book called Tiny uh, Dungeon Solo. And they have this oracle. But I I'm, I'm don't think that I'm going to use this actually. I'm, I think that I'm going to use something different. And I, I would just... Sh I will share this to you, but this is basically an advent, an uh, advanced, advanced tiny dungeon uh, 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 sheet. Actually, I, I, I created this one, but these information on the top, they are uh, default there, and even these, everything here is default. Um, I just added these consumables. Um, I added this here because this is really required in Forbidden Lands and some conditions as well in the uh, in um, tiny dungeons there is no conditions but they are necessary for the forbidden land so i just call it advanced tiny forbidden lands um yeah so I, I just made this and i'm still thinking on how i'm going to handle companions as well but as i said a lot of those things are already defined in the optional rules of um, advanced tiny dungeons 
because when I read that, I said, man, it it, it, it was basically everything that we need to, to play Forbidden Lands by using this system. Because if, if you see here, let me just go a little bit down. Okay, new 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 races. And then um, there is this stress and trauma instead of, uh, instead of HP. We could have trauma and stress. And I think that I should use this as well instead of HP because sometimes a, a condition could just hit me and, 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 and as, a, as a mind damage or will damage instead of, of physical damage. And so this is something that I, I, sh I think I should use. And uh, what is this? There is a, 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 some rules for, for depletion. Yeah, depletion points. And this is really great because in Forbidden Lands, you, you have rations, you have water, you have torches, arrows, and so on. And usually you use different dice types. For instance, you, 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 use, you, could, you could have 1d10 on your food. And when you eat, you roll 1d10. And if you roll a 1, I think, you reduce the dice type. From 1d10 to 1d8, and I thought, okay, I need to to think about this rule. But actually, by reading the Advanced Tiny Dungeon book, they already have a rule for that, and I use just 1d6. So of course, I'm not going to use dice types. I need to come up with some amount of rations, for instance, but. When I roll 1d6, if I get a 1, I just reduce the amount of rations uh, in 1. And I can do this for everything. I could use it even for weapons if I wish. And I, I really like it. I said, man, this is so perfect. It's so simple, but it's so efficient as well. So it's a simple mechanic that, that, that brings something uh, good to the game. And yeah, without bringing complexity. And I thought, okay, I'm going to use this definitely. And and this is what I what I I'm planning planning to do. Um, what else I did uh, instead of using the 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 map that comes with um, Forbidden Lands, I I have decided to create my own map. So I, I've created this map. With some hexes, and as you can see, there are a lot of um, terrains type as well. So hills, mountains, maybe swamp, and, and dark forests, and and light forests. So every terrain that's necessary or that we have and we find in in Forbidden Lands, I have in this map, and. To create this map, and not actually only this map, I, I have created other maps as well. I, I use it the tool that I already shared in a previous video in Waterbow's site. So I just created this um, helm tool, parallel shores, and I really like this. I, I already shared this to you, and I already told you, as you can see. This is a new map I could use. Of course, my uh, it is it already has all parameters that I defined it in my previous maps. So this is the reason that the format is already like this. But if I if I say oh, I would like to have another another one, I can just refresh. And actually, I got the same. Uh, um, I think that I need to click here, new region, and then I have a new region, and maybe a new region, and again something else so it's really easy to create maps that I can use to play uh, a forbidden land session <laughs> this one actually would be really really small and yeah so I'm going to use this map here um, I'm not sure where I'm going to start I have some big cities some i would say a village or a small town maybe this is a small town and this is a village maybe i, I maybe i should start here right 
but I need to still create my character and yeah and and think what I'm going to do uh, and yeah in, in the end my idea was was only to to share this um, idea with, with you all and yeah get the feedback from you <laughs> have you thought about this before um, have you done this maybe someone some of you already did this with Time Dungeon and Forbidden Lands or maybe with another system. So if you have done this, please share this because I'm, I'm, now, I'm now just thinking about it. And I, I would like to, to start something and I was in doubt if I should um, do this uh, uh, not live, but if I should record this on, uh, and then and then share this with you, my, my trial or if, if I should just try first and later if it works I, I can share the results I'm, I'm still not sure uh, of what I'm going to do uh, and I have created this as well um, since we, we have to 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 keep track of, of the, the, the time during a day I just create this that I can easily navigate okay I'm in the morning now it's day evening and night and then I can pick my actions and yeah and that's it um what do you think about this if if you if you have experience on on playing um uh, forbidden lands um do you think it's going to work or or not this is something that i'm i'm really curious about and yeah i hope you like it um and i already said if you have an idea please just share this with me in the comments and if you if you wish to to have a look on how it goes as well just please let me know uh, otherwise I'm just going to try this by myself and yeah that's it thank you thank you very much I wish you a great day bye bye